Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? Honey, what's popping? Did you miss me? Because hmm. hmm. I missed your mother. Can I ask? Listen, honey, this will be just a quick energy check in just to see what the hell is going on in the life of a motherfucking Pisces, honey. All right. Hey, boo head, this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell this lick read, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free right goddamn now to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can firstly assist you without cussing because the way I'm set up, it's my shit. I'm going to do that, okay? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, the reading requests, you guys. Just checking in on me sending me damn emails because I was sick as a dog during y'all motherfucking birthday season, honey. Happy belated birthday, Pisces. Don't be mad at me. Don't be fucking trying to cut me through the fucking screen because y'all know y'all very fucking intentional. And who got time for that, okay? Listen, I don't want no smoke, Pisces. I don't. But listen, <laughs> this message is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the North Node, the Cross Watchers, the Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, wherever the fuck you got Pisces at in your chart. And this is resonate with you, okay? Take what resonates with you and leave the rest here for behind for someone who did it, who it does resonate with, okay? So without further ado, Pisces, we ain't gonna let, we ain't gonna make y'all wait for too long. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description box below. And let's jump into it, all right? Pisces, I kept hearing transformation, transcendence, okay? So a lot of focus around like the need to accept or kind of like looking at things a bit differently as it pertains to like acceptance as, as also as it pertains to how someone something a particular connection a particular i'm hearing soul contract literally help you to shift your life for the better or be like the catalyst for growth some of you guys i get a lot of reminiscent energy okay of course we in mercury retrograde and taurus however i feel like for some of you all this is kind of looking back on every single time that you didn't put no motherfucking respect on your own name pisces because i'm getting this energy of like transcending the belief of like not being good enough or feeling limited or feeling restricted okay some of y'all pisces you holding your motherfucking metaphysical fucking nut hold your nut pick them up hold your nuts put them on the table hold them okay ladies if you ain't got them up still pick them up <laughs> chin the fuck up pisces i get this energy where you're coming back into yourself you're feeling like yourself again i'm hearing weight loss goals so some of you guys could have actually just be a re could have recently hit some type of weight loss goal or you will i keep hearing gemini season is going to be significance of some of you all meeting some type of goal i'm also picking up on something having to do with the fupa somebody's insecure about their fupa but they want to fucking take pictures so mediography videography okay i'm literally hearing love thyself uniqueness it's the same thing that you judge about yourself other people love about you pisces i don't know who the hell that's for but i see somebody kind of being like overly fucking conscious when it comes to their appearance their body which is creating a lot of procrastination and getting something done or getting to something or you guys are actually working through that and just accepting your self as is and the more you love yourself pisces i strongly see you attracting someone who matches that who keeps that same motherfucking energy something about the summertime or someone born in the born in the summer could be of significance okay but i'm getting a warning about this so for some of you all if you're dealing with um possibly like a gemini a cancer a leo um I'm hearing Gemini, Cancer, Leo very strongly or have those chart placements, okay? Some of you guys could be going through some type of transitional cycle when it comes to like love or closing out some type of soul contract. I'm literally hearing that Okay, for some of y'all, whatever soul contract this is, I'm hearing you got it right in this incarnation. Some of you all could be over souls. I'm literally hearing like galactic ancestors or some of you all have really been in touch with your galactic ancestors. Are you receiving some type of like cosmic coding from your galactic family? I'm strongly hearing Orionites. Okay, so some of you guys could be tied to the Orionites. You could have very heavily um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in your chart. Okay, some of y'all could also have very heavy Gemini or Aquarius in your chart specifically. I'm also also hearing something having to do with primordial beings and the Anunnaki okay the concepts or the theories of thought all right um I'm keep hearing I keep hearing um okay soul fragmentation soul integration okay coming into cosmic consciousness but in doing so it's kind of creating kind of like a ripple effect when it comes to your surrounding also i kept getting a lot of 12th house energy in pisces you guys rule the 12th house but also the 12th house has a lot to do with karma it has a lot to do with hidden enemies i keep hearing for some for some pisces spe uh, specifically stop avoiding having a conversation or like stop avoiding a particular confrontation with a, a conversation or 
I'm getting this level of avoidance, but spirit is saying like they keep putting it on your head, on your chest real heavy to have some type of uncomfortable conversation because there's revelations that you didn't even count on in fucking having these conversations. I'm hearing someone trying to fucking manipulate a puppeteer situation. This could be involving another water sign, possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I get this energy where either there's an earth sign or an air sign, strong air vibes that's kind of like pulling the strings in the motherfucking background to create some type of division separation ultimately to cover up their own shit okay so be very discerning when you having conversations or be very discerning i'm hearing um stop avoiding a particular conversation and actually like have the conversation because i'm hearing there's hidden revelations that you're meant to uh, discover and I, I, it's tied to 12th house energy which has a lot to do with like hidden enemies okay i'm also hearing you're able to recognize like soul contracts that you have with people or soul recognition could be important when it comes to like past life enemies or past life ties or like karmic energies or karmic family members that could have been tied to your past life i'm literally hearing handler spirits some of y'all could be um currently fucking warring with jezebelian spirits jealousy envy could be a big thing some of y'all may be in this place of like solitude or you're coming into this place uh, into this place of like sacred solidarity but in that place is god gonna give you this new vision so some of you guys also could be having issues when it comes to like um i'm hearing career like some of you guys could be bored in what it is that you do for a career at this time but for some of you all i'm literally hearing like okay some of you guys you you okay I got excited, Pisces. <laughs> Some of you guys, they're saying you've been your own biggest blockage by the things in which you tell yourself. I'm also hearing give yourself grace, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day, Pisces. Some of you guys feel as if you got to get every damn thing. It's like some of y'all feel as if you, you, it's like I felt rushed. Like even to do your reading, I was actually going to get on here and do Virgo, but Pisces kind of interjected like, no, us, bitch. <laughs> no, us, Pisces. I know the Virgo can wait, okay? But I get this energy where some of you guys feel as if you have to rush and do something or you're running out of time to like come together with somebody. You're running out of time or someone's feeling this way towards your ass, Pisces, okay? So let's get into it. Spirit, give me a soul journey lesson um card you know what i'm feeling these but thank you spirit they're telling me to start with this um thank you they told me to start with my crystal um my crystal uh wisdom healing oracle oh she, jesus okay that flew out but i was gonna ask let me okay Thank you, Spirit, all right? I was going to tell y'all, I was for the ass. They was like, no, you're not. This is the one, okay? 25, 2225552525. 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 5, 25, 25. Some of you guys could be a life path number seven. Some of you guys could also be a master number 11. Others of you, there's some type of transition coming around when coming coming about as it pertains to like your environment some of you guys could be moving if you're staying with someone i'm literally seeing some of y'all are going to get some type of positive news as it pertains to moving by the second week of may okay also i'm hearing it's not what you know it's who you know pisces be open to networking because it's a time of like information for you all some of you guys could be in very very much so in like research mode i'm see i'm also hearing documentaries could be of significance i'm also hearing something having to do with like a modern way of like historian um of like um i'm hearing historian a modern historian okay i'm also hearing the integration of your gifts for some of you all some of y'all have the gift of being able i don't know if that's like claire gustin's okay um or claire aliens some of you guys can like touch someone be careful who the fuck you let touch you pisces don't be hugging on every motherfucking body at this time okay because it's something some of you guys are very sensitive like this there's this like heightened awareness or heightened sensitivity when it comes to like other people's energy i'm literally here in pisces some of you guys could also be having a lot of like premonitions at this time but it's like they're tied into like multiple dimensions or like alternate states of consciousness okay so again i keep getting a lot of integrated timelines for you all some of y'all could be actually experiencing this within the astral space within your dreams okay but i get y'all subconscious is wide the fuck open hours okay because i'm a pisces moon as well as like a fucking um as well as a pisces north node also i keep hearing some of you guys are transitioning very gracefully into your north 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 to your north node purpose of servitude especially if you have your pisces north if you have a pisces north node or even if you have a virgo north node because specifically pisces virgo energy with the north node um especially if it's anywhere within like the 12th house the third house okay the sixth house i keep getting a lot of uh, emphasis on like transition 
situations when it comes to work or what you do. Some of y'all this could actually actually involve like um certifications or like some type of licensing of sort or recertification of something. So Pisces also I keep hearing don't tell don't tell the people what it is that you're building. Some of you guys could be de delving very heavily into the realm of like your meta your medical uh, medical your metaphysical perception of things. Okay, some of you guys could literally teach. Either you guys are going into like teaching um, occultic subjects, okay, or sharing some type of perception. I'm hearing some of y'all got a, a purpose around awakening perceptions of other people. So servitude could be of a big thing, okay? Some of you guys could also be holistic healers. I'm literally seeing like tinctures, oil, money oils, hair oils. Um, this could also be hair washes, okay? Uh, whatever it is that you're building when it comes to like um, some type of like metaphysical practice, metaphysical business, or metaphysical products, your shit is really going to boom between the transition between the uh the summer and the fall okay so spirit is saying right now some of you guys could um okay i'm literally hearing like astral intrusion astral invasion some of you guys could be seeing hawks some of you guys could also be seeing owls some of you all are being protected by some type of owl spirit as well also i keep hearing like some of you guys could also have like caribbean ancestors or maybe you have like uh caribbean you, you come from like a caribbean bloodline something about um be careful of somebody like putting something in your yard or burying something in front of somebody's house. I'm seeing like somebody burying something in the earth and this don't feel good. Like it's, this feels like keeping somebody binded to a land or binded or keeping a how a home binded. If you're kind of, if you guys are going through some type of like legalities or court case, it's like somebody trying to cloak something from you. But this is some type of like home, property, land. It's a it's a tangible like asset. It's something that you can physically see. Um, I'm literally hearing. Okay, so the, I don't know who this is for, but they say that the, the, the death certificate was forged or the document was manipulated, okay? Something about the fucking, um, not the low-budget notary, okay? Um, somebody went to a low-budget notary. Somebody, whoever, yeah, somebody has some, 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 some document is falsified. Make sure that you request that the judge actually, like, takes a good look at the documents. Somebody here is a fucking scam artist, Pisces, okay? And this is coming to the surface. This could be involving a grandparent, especially if the grandparent was possibly like a fire sign, Aries, Dill, Sagittarius, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could be a feminine energy, okay? This could be a feminine energy where the mask, okay, this could be a feminine energy. So this could be a fire sign grandparent connected to an earth sign, uh, a grandmother connected to an earth sign grandfather, or the other way around. But I heard the earth sign went first. The earth sign went first and then the fire sign. I don't know why that's significant, but something about the documents being falsified in between. Also, someone's trying to keep you unaware of how to go about like solidifying some process to get to attain the fucking like someone's pension benefits that you were supposed to inherit. I'm here. Whoever this is for, you have three children. OK, some of you guys, you could actually have like um, some of y'all could actually like be the mother of boys. OK. Or you could have two girls and one boy or two boys and one girl. That's significant. But you have two children of the same sex. I'm getting two boys, one girl. Okay. One of your kids could almost like one of your kids could be um, a teenager of some sort. For whoever that's for your oldest child is 15 going on 16. All right. Specifically. Okay, so give me this. Y'all know we don't chop and screw these damn crystal healing messages. What's going on for Pisces? You guys pulled number 25. Amanda, like, where the fuck is my book? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> if you misplace something, you're going to find it, okay? Some of you guys, I'm literally hearing, like, hidden in plain sight. Something's hidden in plain sight. Also, Pisces B, I'm, I'm okay, some of y'all been intuitively feeling to move your money. If you're going through some type of separation or you can actually, like, intuitively feel that there's a separation that's kind of a brewing, rather it's friendship. For some of y'all, this could actually have to do with some type of, like, business partnership. Be very careful with where you're keeping your money. I'm hearing this is a time to be very unpredictable. Also, if anybody slept on 
you Pisces, you finna wake they ass up. I don't know who needed to hear that, okay? And I turned right the fuck to it. Ananda, like, cosmic consciousness. Didn't I fucking tell y'all? It's like you guys are some, some type of, like, you guys are integrating some type of cosmic consciousness between realms. I'm literally hearing alternate realities, okay? So astral traveling, remote viewing could be of significance. Maybe some of you guys are working on mastering your skill, okay? I'm also hearing if you were, if you were inquiring about if someone was, like, trying to remote view into your space, I'm hearing into the new space. You right. Some of you guys could be looking into to like various ways of protecting yourself alternatively um when it comes to like using or okay yeah when it, i'm hearing the herb whorehound could assist somebody i heard whorehound okay i think her whorehound is an air herb i believe it's a it's a masculine herb but some of you guys also agriculture botany plant medicine plant magic some of you guys actually in um some of you guys inherited your green thumb. I'm hearing from a grandmother, okay? I'm also hearing something having to do with like doula, doula midwife certification, okay? Some of you guys could also want it to be like a like a traveling medicine man or a traveling medicine woman. I'm literally hearing doula, death doula, transitioning, but oh, death doula, okay? All right, 25, Ananda Light. Okay. Ananda Light gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages standing in the way of spiritual awakening. Okay. I'm hearing let it go. Pisces, you guys are also going through some type of like heart chakra expansion process. I don't know what that is, but some of you guys could be experiencing like chest pains. Okay. I'm literally hearing the expansion of your heart chakra, but it comes by way. It feels as if it comes by way of some type of like catalyst or uh, okay. Some of you guys, some type of breakup or separation, even if it's like you accepting the fact that it's time to release someone, either they're the catalyst to your awakening or the next level of your spiritual awakening, but they're also triggering some type of like karmic lesson or something that's connected to your soul on a dharma, on a, they're saying uh, through dharma when it comes to knowing when to let shit go, okay? Whether it's physically, whether it's emotionally, internally, or externally, some of you guys, spirit is wanting, like, spirit is bringing some type of like repetitive behavior to your awakening awareness because that actually my dears what's been blocking your manifestations or like keeping you in this space where you feel as if like you kind of stuck in between the process of like um and and okay i'm hearing in the process of maneuvering and manifesting so i don't know what that means to y'all but yeah i just work here okay let's go Ananda Light gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages standing in the way of a spiritual awakening. It reminds us that, co that consciousness is omniscient and omnipresent, seeing all, knowing all. Immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live in a completely different dimension of consciousness. Damn, I'm good. Recognize that you previously operated within a narrow band of awareness. Attuned to flashes of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away. Embrace unity. You are here to experience cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight right now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. New light is infused. When you transform your awareness, humanity experiences a quantum shift. Some of you guys could be actually like working on or like looking into or researching the quantum process, like quantum hypnosis, quantum entanglement, okay? Something also about like neurology or blood types could also be of significance. Like you guys are like decoding or interpreting some type of like science when it comes to... um the soul or the evolution process of some sort some of you guys pisces could really be very heavily in, involved in like psychology or maybe like um again some of you guys could also be wanting to like some of you guys could be like um psychologist or something having to do with like mental health could be of significance maybe some of you guys could also be like diagnosing others or like you have a way of like um this this feels like into like intuitive therapy but like by you by way of like using um clairvoyant abilities or like telepathic abilities or maybe you're coming into that and maybe you're you're, you're trying to ground that because I, I keep getting like i'm hearing a bunch of messages kind of coming in out of every it, it feels as if i'm being pulled in like 17 different fucking places at one time and it's kind of making me tired but i'm pushing through to keep going so that could be significant to someone like when it comes to how you feel uh because you are undergoing some type of like paradigm or quantum shift at this time or some of you guys again could actually be looking into paradigm shifts or you need to 
Um, enlightenment can happen right now. You are a part of everything and everything is a part of you. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high. It's good for the soul star, soul, okay, soul star, stellar gateway, and cleanses and activates all chakras. The timing is the present moment. And for the, and it's also good for those with the soul path of becoming a vessel for cosmic consciousness. Again, some of you guys also, uh, the way that you channel your messages or the way that you interpret your messages, Pisces, could definitely be shifting at this time. Numerology could be of significance, okay? Or again, some type of interpretation through... Um, through numerical figures, sigil symbolism could also be of significance, especially if you're trying to interpret dreams. I keep seeing spiders. Some of you guys could be dreaming of like serpents, spiders. I'm literally hearing someone could also be trying to like attach themselves. Some of you guys, if you've been having issues with insomnia, it's a blessing in disguise. Your ancestors are keeping your is keeping you consciously aware during the witching hour because some of you guys have some type of like group or um, some type of some of y'all this is okay this is collectively yeah but pisces i'm hearing pisces scorpio cancer is feeling it the worst especially if you have it in your sun and your moon i'm also hearing in your mars or if you actually have saturn in pisces something the way that you see um society as a whole the way that you see unity consciousness the way that you see um Hmm. they're not giving me I'm, I'm literally seeing like images the way that you see evolution is changing um more so like it's it, it, okay it's transforming from a more humanitarian type of like way of looking at things some y'all could be dealing with an aquarius and aquarius could be of significance some of you guys you may be meeting an aquarius mentor in the month of june specifically okay some of y'all this comes by way of some type of move i'm also hearing something about charging for your services if you are pisces and you have your own businesses you need if you have your own business you need to go up on your fucking prices i'm literally hearing the fucking age of self-sacrifice is fucking dead and gone so I don't know who that's for, but some of you guys are recognizing a particular pattern or a way of being, which actually have caused you to kind of give more than what the fuck you've received in relationships. And now you're coming into this awareness to know what needs to be fucking transformed before you move forward into any type of fucking partnership, whether it's a relationship, whether it's family. It's like you fucking treating people pretty much. I'm, I'm, I'm literally hearing like some of y'all is like, it's like y'all are mirroring people's fucking energy, but in a very fucking transmute, like a very transmuting way. And I feel like even while you embodying that frequency, like though you've, though I've been hurt, though I've been disappointed, I'm not going to allow your disappointments, your betrayals, your pain to change the way I love, to change who I am. And because of that, spirit is rewarding you with like new people, new experiences, okay? But some of y'all unexpected fucking miracles in the form of like money, finances, tangible things. Like you guys are like being given like the fucking green light to go and flourish Pisces without having to worry about how it's going to come back, who you affect. And it's like you guys are finally out of fucks for everybody's motherfucking problems outside of what it is that you want to build, that you want to experience, that you want to grow. And Pisces, it looks damn good on you. It's about fucking time, okay? Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's get into it. Let's astrologically see what the fuck is going on with Pisces. Some of you guys, a Gemini, a, a Gemini, or some of the Gemini or Scorpio in their chart could be very significant, okay? As it pertains to something being revealed, something that's being revealed or hidden, okay? Or something that was being covertly covered the fuck up, all right? Also, some of y'all, someone's mother, if you're in a legal case with somebody, especially if this is involving children, someone's someone's mother could be paying somebody this could be this person's mother this could be the grandmother of your children somebody's mother is trying to disturb your peace or like they their intentions of reaching out to you is pretty much to like locate you or like dig for more information it's like somebody's trying to incriminate you something about um background checks private investigators but some of you all have you been intuitively like feeling like someone was watching you or like you were like under um like under um Okay. 
I definitely see somebody trying to look into like where you work, what you do, where your kids go to school. Like some of y'all, you could have been in no contact with a particular person. It's like somebody's like a fucking gnat, like a fucking pest. They won't lose themselves, okay? Some of y'all, this could be an Aries. Some of y'all, this could definitely be a Scorpio, okay? There's a lot of focus on passion, things that you're passionate about. Pisces, I keep getting something about artistry being significant. Some of you guys could be actually like finding creative ways to share your art, to share your craft, okay? I'm also hearing engagement. If you have some type of like, if you offer some type of service or have some type of online business, I'm literally hearing something about live streams will be very beneficial or engagement of some sort, okay? Working out in your favor. Yeah, eighth house, Scorpio. Didn't I fucking tell y'all some of y'all dealing with a fucking Scorpio? Okay, some of y'all, something could definitely be coming to an end with the Scorpio, no matter what the fucking relation is. This person is literally the catalyst to your transformation. Honestly, Pisces, this person is the catalyst to a major awakening that's actually going to shift you on your North Node purpose. It's like once you walk away from this person, place, thing, ideology, uh, fucking way of looking at things, perceiving things, are you able to pretty much like jump paradigms or like, Time, I'm literally hearing like quantum leaping, okay? Could be of significance with that waning crescent moon that has a lot to do with endings, okay? Ending or like pretty much like cutting shit at the root that has been kind of keeping things from able, keeping things from being able to grow. Yeah, keeping things from being able to grow, to solidify, to cut. Okay, you and another person don't share the same values. Somebody could literally have like a the polarity of Taurus and Scorpio in their chart. But some of you all, you're tired of being somebody's motherfucking mother, okay? Some of you all, it's like you're growing and you're having to accept the sad reality that someone someone doesn't man someone doesn't resonate with the evolved version of you okay it's like somebody wanted to keep you small keep you little keep you fucking close to them or keep like i'm literally hearing like somebody thought that they was going to keep you under their thumb forever For some of y'all this could be involving like children the way that they raise children the way that they raise children and the way that you see like family children structure is completely different all right yeah, illumination, sun. Some of y'all, this could be involving a Leo, okay? Some of y'all also could be receiving some type of unexpected money um, by way of maybe like inheriting something from a Leo, okay? This could also be a Leo trying to cloak something, a cloak. Uh, okay, someone doesn't want you to know about some type of property, Pisces, okay? Something about a property is significant, okay? For whoever this is, there could be water surrounding this property, it's like someone wants to rush and finalize something to keep you from fucking being able to see shit. I see somebody moving money overseas. Some of you guys also could be waiting for some type of passport process to be cleared up. I'm hearing like some of y'all could also be worried about like you're not receiving your passport in time. If you're going to receive your passport in time, Pisces. Some of y'all just have to do with you waiting on something to receive something by July. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys also with this waning Gibius, okay, and this Vesta, um, I keep hearing something having to do with downloads, uploads, interpretation of religious texts. I'm also hearing religion versus spirituality. Um, I'm also hearing um, humanitarian through service, but I'm hearing humanitarian through service and information, okay? So sharing information will be very beneficial to you, Pisces. If you are a reader, a spiritualist, a teacher, a guru, okay, or a leader of any sort, I do see this being a very favorable time for you. All right, for those of you who are wanting to like um, invest in the pathway of entrepreneurship, I do see that if you ask, if, the, if your ass actually get the work by now, I get this, okay. Some of y'all, this damn eclipse that we just had in Aries actually ushered in, like, or opened the pathway up to some type of new opportunities that may actually, like, cause you to have to travel or actually, like, um, may assist you with building some type of, like, online platform or network, okay? I'm hearing pimping ain't dead. It just moved to the web, all right? Mm. I'm also hearing some of y'all, if you got teenage children, especially if this is a masculine energy, check their phone. Especially if you fucking, okay, some of y'all Pisces, someone could be sending you like disturbing videos or pictures of your children. I see somebody child holding a gun or posting guns on their social media. No worries, Pisces. That baby is not about that life, but they are going through a place of like wanting to be validated, wanting to make a name for themselves, wanting to be accepted, especially if this is a Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Virgo child, okay? Some of you guys also, yeah. With this Mercury here, 
in this lunar eclipse okay something may open up by way of like so if some of you guys also was waiting on some type of like approval or hearing back from some type of online application i literally see you guys being approved for something here with this wayne and gibbous here and this vesta if you were waiting to hear back from something the process of something some of you guys could be expecting like if you were expecting like things not to be favorable for you pisces don't understand that you are literally creating as you go okay you're creating as you actually like they're saying in every pre in every moment in the present you're creating so be mindful of your thoughts be mindful of the things that you think okay be mindful of the way that you speak i see you guys going through a complete motherfucking like 180 by a year from now things are going to look so beautiful for you beautiful for you all all right i also see for some of you all um some of y'all could be meeting a Sagittarius. For those of you who are dating a Sagittarius, I see someone wanting to expand the family, okay? If you and this person could be in separation and you're reconciling with this person, be very careful if you recognize if you're reconciling with the fucking Sagittarius, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Specifically fucking uh Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Sag, Virgo. Somebody wants to keep you and hold you by any means necessary, even if it comes by way of them having a fucking, like, purposely try to trap you. Somebody feels like a baby fucking changes the situation or a baby fucking makes somebody stay. Someone's having a hard pill to swallow when it comes ex to accepting the fact that someone's over because so that something's over because they got a child by a person. Okay. That's a hard pill to swallow. All right. So let's get into it. Give me some, um... Give me some love messages for Pisces. Pisces in love. Singles and couples. Pisces in love. Give me three messages for Pisces. Give me three cards and then we're going to clarify. Pisces in love. If for those of you, for the, okay, if you are a Piscean who lives on the West Coast, you've been getting a lot of intuitive downloads when it comes to moving south. Please act up on that. I'm also hearing something about some of y'all may move by way of some type of program or assistance program of some sort, okay? For whatever Pisces you are, you could actually have cardinal signs, another cardinal sign in your chart, or you could be dealing with a cardinal sign, um, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, or Cancer, okay? You guys got soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement soul contract we talked about this some of you guys are recognizing the lesson around your soul contract with a particular person okay for some of you are also you're coming into a favorable yes okay you guys got palm tree i love it here okay some of you guys could live in a place where there's palm trees all right some of you guys could have recently met somebody if you met somebody around your birthday time for some of y'all i'm literally hearing something about capricorn or capricorn season being significant things won't actually be able to flourish again or things won't actually be able to flourish like you want to see them flourish into cancer season some y'all could be connecting with a cancer and this person really fuck with you pisces okay stability security permeance growth endurance flexibility and then you guys got mask not showing true feelings high personified pretend delude gaslighting and then at the bottom you got the grim reaper okay so i feel like this is the motherfucking past trying to fucking attach they add attach they fucking self like a little fucking parasite that they are to your future the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life for those of you who could have recently left something and maybe you're healing some type of like past connection i do see this healing is going to be very beneficial to you all especially if this is somebody who wasn't open about like somebody i get this energy this energy where someone could have been manipulating you based off of your desires like this is a person that make all these goddamn promises but don't never fucking deliver it's like when you look up fucking six years later this motherfucker still doing the same shit pisces you 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 you, you understanding that you deserve more and you're worth more and some of y'all is done with the shit and you're going to go get that more all right yes some of y'all this could be involving a king of wands aries Leo, sagittarius okay or someone where you actually had like a okay some you someone who you actually met and maybe you guys started off as like something physical but as the relationship continued to like go on when it's like some of you guys, if you fucking, like, remove the sex, you really didn't like this person at all, okay? Some of you guys could actually be attracting a new person who could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone at work, okay? This could be someone who you work with. Um, make sure that you ask the right questions when it comes to dealing with this particular person, okay? This person could also be an, uh, a tourist, specifically, all right? Yeah. 
make sure that you ask the right ask the right questions when it comes to this individual and they fucking like current relationship status because this is a motherfucker who omits shit it's like they're very charming they have a way with words they know how to fucking like really charm you out your damn socks but this is the type of person that's one of them people that if you didn't ask me then i didn't lie to you so make sure that you asking the right questions pisces some of y'all you dropping the scorpio the scorpio if you were thinking about reconciling with the scorpio baby the scorpio is still a hoe Okay, they still on this motherfucking devil ass energy. And I see Pisces moving away from the fucking devil ass energy. Some of you guys could also be uh, traveling to see a Capricorn or a Capricorn wanting to travel to see you. Some of you guys, this could be somebody who could have put you in a third party situation. Again, yes, be very careful when it comes to somebody wanting to keep that goddamn door open, Pisces. Somebody who could be in a third party situation. This could be somebody who is stuck in a fucking toxic relationship karmic marriage okay or a karmic connection with somebody who they have children with okay specifically a son with this person i get this energy with somebody wants to oh some of y'all dealing with somebody who want to live who want to live their life and control yours that's some bullshit okay I can see why you let this person go. Some of y'all could have recently let this person go or moved away from this individual. Also, if you're dealing with a Capricorn individual, I feel like this person could actually be going between you and another person, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm literally seeing... Uh -huh. If you're meeting new people, Pisces, don't go into that telling them... Don't go into that, like... They're saying keep the keep the energy fresh. Don't go into a, it would go don't go into a situation shit with a new person talking to them about what the hell your ex did. Because I get this energy with somebody could be like picking you for information or kind of like this is something that they could that, that they'll they, especially if this person is an earth sign that if you make them mad they'll use that to like hold over your head to manipulate you to stay in fucking toxic ass situations with some of y'all could have actually tried to make this work before but every time you reconcile with this person shit just don't work okay some of you guys got yeah some of y'all got a libra that want to shoot they shot with you pisces but this person is afraid of being rejected or some of y'all if you're dealing with a libra already someone's feel as if they're not enough or maybe this libra made you feel as if this is a past person this could have been somebody who you could have actually like put in it's like you were packing fear with this person but this person always wanted to like shit on you and make you make you feel as if you're not enough all right i get this energy where someone could also be wanting to reconcile to avoid having to pay some type of child support or avoid having to fucking like come off of some type of money okay pisces like baby you can keep that shit and where where's the money okay if you're waiting to hear from some type of new opportunity, okay, or waiting to hear back from some type of like, uh, waiting to hear back to get the ball rolling when it comes to some type of progress, uh, when it comes to some type of progressive uh, process um, and starting something new or solidifying something or like getting something branded or rebranded, I do see that being very positive for you going forward, okay? Yeah, you got fucking big ass motherfucking staffs, big ass coins, and big ass cups. And this serves as justice for you, Pisces. A lot of you guys, by Libra season, I literally see a, like a relationship. You solidifying a relationship, um, something very fucking stable, okay? Libra season being significant. I'm literally hearing when the sevens align. So 777 seven, seven could be of significance. Usually, I don't advocate gambling. But Pisces, I do see that if you guys do something like out of your fucking comfort zone, yeah, ten of cups. If you guys do something out of your comfort zone or you're taking a chance on like investing in something, doing something, it's a very favorable time for you because it's like the stars have aligned for your happiness, for you to experience your turn, Pisces. Don't let nobody come in and fuck this up because I see someone new wanting to come in. But as soon as this new person wants to come in your fucking past wants to come in like little fucking nets and little fucking nuisances okay so make sure that you're standing very firm on your boundaries at this time because i see you guys going through a healing process but you're also going through this mastery process as well as this evolution process as it pertains to like um interconnectedness as it pertains to like um conscientious conscientious interconnectedness okay oh pisces I feel like I was rambling. Give me a um, give me a soul journey lesson for Pisces. That's some advice. I'm gonna go and get up out of here. I miss y'all, Pisces. Who me? Crapping good. Staying out the way. Being a hermit, hermit for real, for real. Okay. Let me see. 
Yeah, you guys got trust. Yes, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Some of you guys could be clear audience, okay? Or maybe you're discovering that you are clear audience, all right? Clear audience. See, I see you guys doing a lot of research, Pisces. I'm also hearing right place, right time, right conversation. Again, it ain't it ain't so much as what you know as to it is whom when it comes to creating and manifesting opportunities that may come off as like unorthodox to others, okay? But it's true to your fucking heart. It's true to you. I accept that my inner voice will guide me correctly okay some of you guys also could be getting a lot of fucking messages regarding moving your money again i keep hearing something about moving your money some of y'all pisces are being called to like not keep all your money in one place okay you guys got courage some of y'all could also be having prophetic dreams when it comes to like banking systems or like the crash of like um the economy or currency okay i'm literally hearing communism politics could be of significance i'm also hearing interpretation okay so maybe some of you guys again the way that you interpret your messages the way that your spirit guides are communicating with you in this season the interpretation is different it's going to cause for you not to be so emotionally attached to things and just look at things from the outside looking in whether it's dealing with people places things or fucking like helping you make decisions going forward as it pertains to relationships investments friendships and what's actually worthy of your time and your energy courage i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence okay some of y'all could need to trust your intuition when it comes to dealing with the leo some of you guys need to trust your intuition as it pertains to the timing to get something done or send something off okay you guys got success i know that there is no greater goal to love yes and spirit bestowing that what upon to you at this time peace pisces all right it's time pisces it's your time to flourish. It's your time to shine. And I and, and listen, not one monkey, two monkey, ten motherfucking monkeys can stop the motherfucking Pisces show. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Then you guys got peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. You guys got, even when it comes to negative perceptions around um, loneliness, okay, or not having a particular person. I'm hearing great things come to those who wait. Know that you are very fucking supported, okay? It's like in, versus focusing on what it is that you don't have. Have and what you can't see right now just continuously fucking be conscious of the fact that you're always creating some y'all will find it very beneficial to write your soulmate or your future soulmate a letter okay and be very specific about what it is that you want also some of you guys are recognizing your ability to create aka manifest by way of automatic writing and some of y'all your ancestors are creating or, or um your ancestors or your guardian spirits are communicating with you via automatic writing as well. I'm also hearing, again, integrating some type of like otherworldly consciousness into this realm. Some of y'all will always be 10 light years ahead of people and they don't like that. So just learn to love yourself and give yourself fucking grace, Pisces. Keep loving on yourself. Keep healing. Keep appreciating yourself. Keep being in this, play, this place in this flow of gratitude and release any damn thing that doesn't fucking add to your finances, your faith, okay, or your motherfucking in favor baby you guys got service i feel good when i can help others this is this is literally spirit saying pisces we need you to recognize the way that you've been doing something the way that you've been exerting your energy the way that you've been overly giving to motherfuckers who you can't get that fucking energy to and fucking pulling that shit back in continuously calling back your motherfucking power continuously fucking calling back your autonomy being in this place of self-love self-discovery self-mastery and allow things to align with you because this you guys are definitely in the season of positive alignment okay so I love y'all a long time, and I pray that these messages were able to assist you guys, okay? Um, I am going to still come back with the mutable message, but it's again, y'all frequency was like screaming at me, honey. So I had to drop a quick Pisces reading. If, that res if this message resonates with you, please let me know in the comments, okay? Please like the video, share the video. It keeps me in the algorithm, everybody. And until next time, I love you long time. Mwah. And I'm sending you guys so much peace, love, and positivity. Bye, babies.